Hey guys, Sean here, or Cookie King, and this is a different type of video than what I would normally do. Today, I'm doing another rant video, even after I said that I would stop. This is the final Spider-Man fan film community rant. Like I said before, this is a different type of video, as I wanted my final rant video to do something good. Since my last rant video caused a lot of problems, that marked the end of the rants, it ends on a really bad note, and I don't want that. I want these rants to do something good as they were originally intended to do. This final Spider-Man fan film community rant is on why I think that the fan film community is important. All the rants that I have done on the FFC have just been me ripping into other fan filmmakers' work. This wasn't right, and it caused me to think about what I did and to think about what the fan film community is really all about. The FFC is a very minor subdivision of the YouTube community, consisting of a few hundred creators at its prime. In recent years, the FFC's numbers have lessened because of the sheer amount of devastating things fellow creators have said to them about their films. This has caused most to stop making Spider-Man fan films or just leave YouTube altogether. This really sucks, and I feel so bad this is happening, but now I realize that I was the cause of some of it. At the start with these rant videos, honestly, I was just trying to be leafy, because he was popular and he was one of the fastest growing YouTube channels at the time. I thought I could replicate his success by being the leafy of the FFC. And I was wrong for doing that. I just want to personally apologize to Cray Cray Jack, Mr. Marvel 1800, DDS Studios, and Sprite Films because they are the ones who I directly affected with those videos. I however will not apologize to Geek Pictures, sorry, Impulse Entertainment, because that video helped him out and made him a better person in the end. I won't apologize to Rice Gum either, he's an asshole. Anyway, I realized that doing the things that I did and saying the things that I said did not help them, but it hurt them. And I know now what the fan film community is truly about. It's about passion, not obligation, about having fun, not getting profit, about creativity, not plagiarism, and even I am a culprit of this, not just when I started, but recently. Believe it or not, the opening scene of Spider-Man Responsibility was a direct copy off of another fan film called Spider-Man Eclipse. This was pointed out recently by a commenter, and he's right, it's exactly the same. All I did was change one line, and that was it. I'm sure that I now sound like a hypocrite, especially since I pride my fan film on being original. The fact is that it's not and I was wrong for doing that. I'm really gonna try to be 100% original from now on. Anyway, fan films are an outlet for people to show their creativity, show their passion, and love for the character. This has always been the point, and a lot of people have that mindset. However, there's a select few that haven't grasped this. It took me a long time to understand this, but people who don't do a good job with their movie is fine. They're doing the best they can, and we shouldn't criticize them the way that we do. Criticism should be constructive, and only be there to help the person which is what my goal is for the rest of my time in the fan film community. Back to what I was saying earlier. The way that I see copying is that people aren't creative enough to think of their own original ideas, and that's fine. But the alternative for them is to do what the people they look up to do. People that I think should be looked up to by people in the FFC is NSSS, Made Legit Media, Fireball Studio 7, Joey Lever, Heath Gleason, Snowy 8 Films, Philosophical Films, and Bryce Cherney. They actually make good movies and are passionate about what they do. They are able to come up with original ideas and make entertaining videos. They don't do it for the money, and they even try to help out other creators. This is how it should be for everyone here, and I'm glad those people are here to set the example that they do for everybody else. That is what I'm trying to do too, and I really hope it's been working so far. But really the main point that I want to make in this video is that people shouldn't care what other people are doing. If their movie is bad, so what? Help them out. Give them some tips on how to be better. I now go into fan films with an open mind and won't put them down if their movie is bad. You guys shouldn't either. If we're able to do this, I think we'll be able to get some of the people back that previously quit and bring in new creators to hopefully break the mold with fan films and do something that no one's ever seen before. I really hope we can make this happen, and I encourage you all to try too. Let's make the fan film community a great place to be for creators who just want to get together with their friends, have a good time making a Spider-Man movie. And even if it doesn't come out exactly how you want it to, all that matters is that you had fun in the end. I just really want to thank you guys so much for watching. We're already getting close to 400 subscribers and I can't believe it. I have a small yet dedicated fan base and I appreciate that so much. For the month of March, I really want to try to get two videos a week out for you guys while also trying to get Spider-Man Retribution and Punisher Manhunt done for you guys. It's going to be tough, especially while trying to concentrate on school in the process, but I'm willing to do it for you guys. That kind of came out wrong. <laughs> Another bit of news for you guys is that I've been thinking a lot lately of changing the name of the channel. Tell me what you think about that in the comments below, and tell me what you think I should change it to. I have a few ideas in mind for what it could be. Anyway, bye guys, and see you in the next video.